Hey, Tiny T Prepper here, uh, and as you know, uh, if you've been following some of my videos, you know I'm putting in a Whirlpool tub and getting ready to put tile up on the upper part uh, for the part that goes around it. And I started out using just a, you know, cut with a jigsaw. They say don't cut with a jigsaw uh, because of the dust, you know, inside. If you do it outside, make sure you, you know, you don't get the dust on you and make sure it ain't blowing in your face, that kind of stuff. Probably best to wear it dust mask or something like that make sure you make sure you don't breathe that in because this contains silica which is hazard uh, to your lungs you know if you breathe it in so uh, make sure if you do use something like this uh, uh, that you do take precaution against the dust that it produces i do want to talk about the uh, blades a little bit uh, saw one youtuber that said when he cut it with a jigsaw he used just a regular wood blade with big teeth on it and said it might cost him ten dollars worth of bits but he he's able to get the cuts done. Well, I tried doing that and the blades would cut maybe once, twice, and then the teeth on it, they had big teeth for the wood, they'd be wore out on it. And I was doing stuff like lifting it up, holding it, to use other parts of the blade because it only uses a certain part there. So, you know, kind of dangerous things are trying to get more lifetime out of the blade. And as you can see now, I don't have a wood bit in there. What I did is when I went to go buy some replacement ones, I used up the ones I had because yeah, it didn't cut very far but what I was wanting to do and I picked up one of these blades here and I saw on there it said three times longer but I also saw on here that was for a hard tile I thought well if it's good for hard tile it might be good for this cement that it's made out of so I bought one of these and I bought some of the other ones too to replace what they had you know, like a five pack and I thought that might get me through you know one day anyway hopefully but uh, luckily I didn't have to go to those. This one here, I've been cutting with it all day long and it's still cutting just like when I started. So uh, this cement board must be a little bit softer maybe than the ceramic tile. I ain't sure how long it lasts on the ceramic tile. Maybe you know, it lasts a little more longer they advertise here. But this is a Bosch and I use a T uh, connector on mine, a T shank. And so that's one I got for me. But they, you know, they make this different things here. But this blade, I, I'd recommend it highly. It worked real well for me so far here, and, and doing real good. I, you know, I bought one of these. You know, they're a little bit more expensive. It cost me ten dollars for just one blade, but those other five, it cost me ten dollars, and I'd been throwing them away when I was done. This one here, I can continue to use it again if I ever do another job with this kind of stuff, or if I have, I have a tile saw for the, you know, wet saw for the, if I do ceramic tile, so. I don't really have to use it for that, but man, for this hardy board, it really worked out good. So anyway, something I'd highly recommend looking at if you're going to be cutting hardy board with a jigsaw. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't use uh, anything that's real high speed this year. You know, the dust kind of controllable. It still blows around, but I'm doing it outside, so I feel fairly safe that I'm not breathing this in. It would be a little better if I wore a dust mask, but so far I've been holding my breath and making sure I don't inhale any of that. So, so far I've been pretty good with it. Just got one board here more, maybe one more cut if the other piece I cut doesn't fit. Sometimes I have to cut these twice to get them to fit in there, but uh, so far I've been fitting in real good. This is coming up here towards the end and trying to beat the rain out here <laughs> that's coming in over the side. You see it out of the north here, so hopefully that might skirt us, but you know, we can always use rain. You know, we've had quite a bit, but I never complain from getting rain. Stuff will grow with the rain, so that won't grow without it. So. Anyway, I recommend this, do a little review on this if you're thinking about getting a, uh, something like that hardy board. Take a good look at this one for this, you know, the diamond hard tile and 3D grid it has on here. And this has worked real well for me and it just cuts. Now it's a little bit slower than cutting wood, but not by much. It, it really works and keeps on working and going right on through. So, anyway, that's Tiny T here signing out. Hope you all have a good day.